Come on in, fam. I'm here. Come on in. Right here. Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back, family. So, group, come on in. I switched it up, Megan. I went from the drumming, I got back into the flutes. Back into the flutes with a little rain in the background. Come on in, family. Soul Group is here. I want to dance. <laughs> yeah, with that drumming music, it makes you want to dance. Come on in. Soul Group is always here. Now today, I wanted to read something. One, I wanted to read something a little different today, just to give people a little bit more of an understanding about our dear Tai Chi. This is from Master Master Liao, the master of my school. Uh, that music I simply put in African drumming music on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I just put in African drumming. This is a book that's been with me for a long time, from the beginning of my Tai Chi journey. This is Master's book, Master Liao. He has a translation of the Tai Chi classics, which are essential texts of Tai Chi Chuan. He also provides some practical instruction in, inside of this guide. This is a guide, actually. This, this is, in the Tai Chi community, this is known as being one of the Tai Chi Bibles. One of the Tai Chi Bibles. Yeah, check it out. A great resource. And as I said, it is a resource. So it's something that you will continue to go back to and, and just take out bits and pieces here and there. Right. So with that being said and done, I have several highlights in here. I want to read a few of the highlights today so that we can understand different or various reasons as to why we train Tai Chi. This Chi word keeps coming up. Chi, Chi, Chi. Some people have no idea what that is. So right here it says, without correct training or at least a full and clear understanding of the concept of Chi, the true meaning of Tai Chi will be lost. Did y'all get that? Without correct training or at least a full and clear understanding of the concept of Chi, the true meaning of Tai Chi will be lost. So what is Chi? We talked about Chi being energy, right? We're all born with it. We'll have it until the day that we die. There's things we can do in order to cultivate the chi, to cultivate the chi. That is our movement and our meditation. So you see why Tai Chi is known as meditation in motion, right? Meditation with the movement helps cultivate the chi. Let me see what else. 
here's something about uh, Tai Chi people in general. It says uh, followers of Tai Chi believed, believed, that's with the ED, that people should discipline themselves to be spiritual, healthy, kind, and also intelligent. To be responsible for assisting others to reach the same level of achievement. Remember I said uplift and helping each other along the way? Right, so we should help others reach the same level of achievement. It says to enjoy the truth. Also, remember Tai Chi is, if you want it to be, a martial art. So it says to fight fearlessly against immorality. To fight fearlessly against immorality and injustice. And to protect the needy and the weak. I'm always talking about protecting our senior citizens, right? And that's another highlight. I just want to read a couple highlights. How's everybody doing? Soul Group is here. I'm happy with that. Today is a holiday. Labor Day. I hope everybody's enjoying their Labor Day. Here's another highlight that I have here. It says, those who practice Tai Chi at times played a role in enforcement of China's codes of human morality. So just to give you an idea of what we're doing together. I have one more very, uh, one that really stood out. Here's one that I'll often talk about. It talk about questioning everything. Remember I mentioned that? We should question everything. Here it says, if we naively follow our own traditions, we may someday find out that we have made yet another mistake. The mistake of not questioning our traditions. So we should question everything. And, th and that's what Tai Chi teaches us. To do our own research. How do we research? with our body okay one more here and we're gonna get going welcome everybody here's here it is yeah we always talk about so I always talk about playing with the universe right playing with the universe so this talks about yin yang motion theory it says everything in the universe continuously contrasting and complementing itself that is to say everything is continuously revealing the negative and the positive aspects of itself interesting huh interesting it says Tai Chi training uses the principle of internal power rather than relying on the power derived from simple physical motion and strength. So remember I said that Tai Chi is not um, a physical exercise? It, it can be a lot more than that. For some people, it's, it's, it's a physical exercise. So it depends on your teacher, what your teacher gives you, and uh, that'll dictate what you're able to get out of your Tai Chi. Hey, let's get started, family. Welcome in. I was reading a little bit from Master's book for anyone who just, just came in. Master Liao, just reading a couple highlights. This is his translation of the Tai Chi classics. As I said before, the Tai Chi classics are essential texts that any Tai Chi practitioner definitely want to at least have a very small understanding about. One more here. Tai Chi emphasizes the development of the mind rather than the muscles, since the mind can be developed infinitely beyond any limits of time and space. That was a big one. We can go on and on, but we're not. Welcome to the chat. Let's get it going, family. Let's go ahead and let's bow in and 
pay respects to the teachers. Let's set the space. Let's set the tone for the space. Soul group is here. A couple people showed back up from the standing today. Hope you had a good, uh, what did we do, 12 minutes today? 12 minute standing session. Here we are for our Tai Chi flow. Let's settle our mind, settle our thoughts, settle our physical body, center ourselves, become the center of our universe. Each and every one of us are the centers of our own individual space. Although we share the entire universe together, we all must center ourselves. Let's pay in with a big salute here. Big salute, big bow. Big salute, big bow. Inhale, breathe in, breathe up the spine, all the way up, cross the top of your head, down the front of your body. Paying very special attention to our lower dantian, our lower energy center that's located below the belly button. About three finger spaces below the belly button. We refer to that energy center, some people call it a chakra. We call it a Dantian. Follow me here. Inhale. Exhale down. Follow here. Inhale. Exhale down. Across the top this time. We're mixing them together. We're mixing them. See how we're mixing them? Inhale. Across the top, down the center. Back up the front now. Here. Inhale. Imagine a breath traveling up your spinal column, all the way up across the top of your head. Inhale, up the tailbone, all the way up, through each and every vertebrae independently. Exhale. The more that you can stay connected with your breath and movement, the more you will benefit from the practice. The more you can stay connected with the breath, being mindful of the movement, the more benefit you'll get from each and every session that we have. Exhale, nice and smooth flow. Inhale. Exhale down. Gonna change it up, family. Change it up right here. Lifting. Separating, not just the arms and hands, but the whole body is separating, left and right. Imagine your body being separated into two hemispheres, a left side and a right side. Lifting, inhale. Separating, left and right sides. Equal, equal hemispheres. Equal distribution of weight, 50-50 weight distribution. Feel the bottom of your feet, inhale. This is an exhale. Notice that my body, my torso, is rising and falling. Meaning that as I go up, my crown point actually leads me up. As I begin to descend or sit down, my tailbone leads the movement. 
make an honest, sincere effort to do what I just described to you. As you go up, be sincere in your movement going up, being led by the crown point. As you go down, be sincere. I mean, really feel inside of your body. Is that your tailbone leading the movement down? Or are you bending your knees? There is a difference. I want you to be mindful and truly work towards doing the movement just the way that I just explained it. Tailbone. Ah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Crown point. Yep. That's there. And also continuous movement. No stopping and going. See, it's called chi flow. The chi flows just like the blood flows. There's no stopping and going without circulation, right? Right. So keep moving here, family. Just as if the blood flows through the body, the energy flows. It only stops when we stop. So don't stop. Can always change, but don't stop. One more of these. This one is called inward. Inward. See, we're coming in. The arms are coming in. And now we're going out and up. Inward and outward. Transitioning into our favorite waterfall movement. Loosening the shoulders, lengthening the breath. And oh, the spine loves this one. The spinal column is saying, thank you very much. I've been waiting on this all day long. What took you so long? Don't you feel that unwinding of the spine? Loosen your pelvis and you will feel it even more. Soften your pelvis right here. Soften your pelvis. Meaning, let those muscles relax. Tap into your skeletal system. Feel your skeletal system, family. Feel your skeletal system. Sincere effort will get you there. Sincere effort will get you there. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. We're on the path. We're on the path. Health is wealth. Nothing is obstructing our way. Nothing is obstructing our way. We cannot be contained because we refuse to not be healthy in all aspects of our lives, all relationships, relationships with food, relationships with individuals, relationships with each and everything that comes into contact with us is holistic and serves us well. Anything that does not serve us well, we simply dismiss it and allow it to go because it's only a distraction. No distractions in this life. I let go. I let go of all distractions. That's how we truly find ourselves, family. That's how we truly find ourselves. Let go of the distractions. That's it. Take your time. Let's do one more. One more all the way up. How about a little coordination training with this movement. Remember, don't stop and go. Coordinate. One is up, one is down, but they're constantly in motion. Both. Both are in motion. Always rising, always sinking, up and down. Not stopping. Body weight is shifting ever so lightly from left to right, up and down. Find your own flow. That way it's more natural for you. As opposed to attempting to move with my breath, 
Smooth with your breath because it's your Tai Chi. It's your Tai Chi. No matter how hard we try, we'll always figure out that each individual's experience will always be different. Each individual's experience will always be different because Tai Chi is infinite. The possibilities are infinite. No copycats. No copycats allowed. This is mind, body, spirit, and life force energy training. Mind, body, spirit, life force energy training. Play. Have fun with the entire universe. All the way in, all the way out. You're only limited by yourself, family. Come out of the box. Come out of the box and get into the circle. Here we are. As we change, pulse monkey. Repulse monkey. All the way out. All the way up. All the way in towards my ear. I'm listening. I'm compressing my Tai Chi ball. Squeezing. Pushing forward and pulling back. Letting go forward, letting go back, all the way up to the clouds, listening to my Tai Chi ball, compressing my Tai Chi ball, shifting my weight from left to right, up and down, forward and backwards. Ah, you got your Tai Chi flow now. Now you got your Tai Chi flow, family. That's why we're here. That's it, right there. Right there. Ah. Let go. All the way out. Scoop down. Get that earth energy. Pick it up and combine it with the clouds. Listen to it. Listen to it. Do you hear anything? Do you feel anything? Take your time. Keep going all the way to infinity, all the way out, all the way back to infinity. There's so much going on here. That's why we go slow, family. So much going on here. You can't do it fast. Too much. Too much. Compress, squeeze, release all the way out. All the way in. If anyone is in attendance that is having trouble standing during the whole session, sit down. Sit down. Now, if you have a stool at home, a chair that does not have a back, that's the best type of chair to sit in to do the Tai Chi training. Yeah, you can do it sitting, fam. You can still work your upper body and you can still work your legs. Absolutely you can. I encourage you to invite anyone that may have any mobility challenges to come and join us, family. Let's help them restore their health. I've seen it done before. Let's help our family. Let's help our seniors. You know, Tai Chi is known for being an excellent, excellent modality that helps with something that is very, very common amongst the senior citizen population. And I don't know if you realize it or not, but I certainly do. We are senior citizens at some point. We are senior citizens. We are reflections. We, we may not be. 50 or 60 years old yet, but at some point, that will be us. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of our reflections. Let's take care of our seniors. The seniors are the webs of the community. They hold the wisdom of the tribe. We are the seniors. 
Tai Chi 360 embraces the whole community, the young, the not so young. 360 family, here we go, follow me. Inhale, we never stop flowing. Did you see that? Did you happen to notice that? Ah, you did, okay. I knew somebody noticed it. Inhale, rotating those shoulders. Breathe in, circle back, down, both sides, all the way up into the clouds. That's what we want. Make sure your knees aren't bending in, family. Out. Inhale. Feel those lungs here. This is, oh, this is so good. That is so good. When the arms are above the head or shoulder height or above, the lungs are hanging naturally. And you can feel all of the lobes. All of the lobes can be filled. Inhale. We have five lobes to our lungs. Let's fill all five lobes. Three lobes on the right, two lobes on the left. Fill all five lobes to capacity. All the way up. Let's rebuild and let's fortify our immune systems. Let's restore our immunity the lungs, the lungs are oftentimes challenged in the colder season. The fall season is coming upon us. So we start now to tonify, to cultivate the chi and build up our immunity. We don't wait until we get a cold or wait until we get sick. Prevention Prevention is the best thing that we can do for ourselves. Preventative health care. Preventative health care. We become our own doctors. No need for a white coat. Inhale. Because we're super healthy. Our immunities are super strong. There's no weak links inside of this organ system. Breathe in. Last one. Big circle. Don't overdo it. Now watch how I change directions at the bottom here. Still flowing. Feel your pelvis. Is it loose? Nice and soft. Is your tailbone loose and able to move naturally? No tension, family. Did you see that transition? Right. This is what we call the bear swims. Yeah, the bear. Like a bear lying on his back. Doing the bear stroke. Or back stroke. Down the river, enjoying a nice day. Just chilling out. Absorbing some sunshine. Breathing in that fresh oxygenated air, the chi, the prana, life force. Inhale. Nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Now remember, these movements should be done according to your breath, not mine. So once you learn the movement, coordinate the inhalation as you come up like this. The exhale as you go back like this, but according to your breath and not mine. The inhale is on the way up. Remember the upward movement is led by your crown point pulling you up. The downward movement is led by the tailbone pulling you down. Let's do a few more. We'll keep those very important aspects in mind. Breathe in. Rising up, swimming in a sea of chi. How about that? Swimming in a sea of chi. Doesn't that feel good? 
you know there is a sea of chi out here. We only can see with our eyes, our physical eyes, a very small percentage, I mean minuscule percentage of the visible life light. A very small percentage of the visible light. Our eyes just, they don't see it. It's a lot of stuff out here. Just because we can't see it, does it mean that it doesn't exist? Inhale. Last one. Ah. Sea of Chi. Very good. Inhale. Preparation form. Notice I didn't stop. Notice I didn't stop. Yeah. As you do preparation, family, you can begin to float as well. Float left and right. Your own breathing pattern, not mine. As the weight goes from left leg to right leg, you want to make sure, ensure that you're changing the weight where you have 100% of the weight on either leg at a time. I just showed you. I just showed you. See, no weight over here. Right. That's a way that you can check it. Check it sometime to make sure that you aren't cheating yourself, that you're getting a full benefit from the movement because sometime we'll actually be violating the principle. Always checking, moving slowly but surely towards perfection. Lifetime practice. Will we ever truly, will we ever truly perfect the art form? Absolutely not. We'll never do the movement the same. Tomorrow you can do the same movement. You'll never be able to repeat it the same. That's just the way it is. But we continuously strive towards perfection. Continuously. Every day, 20 minutes a day is better than none at all. Find time to invest in your practice. Notice, notice that I said invest. Because each practice or each training session, to me, is an investment towards my longevity. Towards my health and well-being. Each training session moves me closer towards my goal, which is a common goal to, amongst Tai Chi practitioners, is to live a life of longevity, meaning that we remain young in spirit, young in heart, and we keep these physical bodies as healthy as we can. The goal is to make it up to 100 years or more. Here we're changing into the Tai Chi Ball family. So immortality according to some teachings, immortality is living to be a minimum of 100 years old. not physically living on the earth forever. No, 100 or more. That's plenty when you're living young and lively, high in spirit, high in energy, quality of life that's unparalleled to anything. And yeah, we've been promised that, but we have to do the right thing, family. We have to consume the right thing. Whenever you hear me talk of consuming, it has a lot more to do with everything that our body has a relationship with, not just food. Of course, consuming whole foods, whole organic foods, is a very wise choice that contributes towards longevity. No preservatives. 
right? Plenty of sleep. Plenty of sleep at the right time. They say it's best to sleep before the midnight hour. Best to sleep before the midnight hour. I violate that principle quite often. I sleep like a cat. Three hours here, four hours there. Drink plenty of spring water if you can. Don't drink that faucet water. It's, water is really low quality. The city water is really bad. couple more turning the Tai Chi ball left and right we're going to transition from Tai Chi ball into into play stick play stick watch the transition family people oftentimes get confused here right hand goes back left hand comes up towards my temple right by my glasses there's a transition right into it we're going to alternate sides right beside my temple this hand is right down the center here right down my center find your flow let's do a few of these family keep going keep going how is everybody doing today Feeling good? I feel great. I feel great. Down the center. There you go. Follow the circle round, around, around. Down the center. Play stick. <clears throat> That's it. Make sure your weight is shifting from right leg to left leg. So now I'm shifting over to my right leg. My left hand, left arm is extended towards you. Now as my right arm and right hand comes towards the center, my weight is shifting to my left leg. We always have this yin-yang exchange, yin-yang in harmony, just like the Tai Chi sign, just like the Tai Chi sign. That's it. Oh yeah. We in the flow now. We never stop flowing from the very beginning, from the onset. Right there. That's what we want, family. Continuous movement, steady pace, relaxed. Make sure your muscles are nice and relaxed, no tension. Do a check in, family. Check in. Can you feel your heartbeat? Go ahead and make an effort to feel your heartbeat. Feel your heartbeat. Slow down your breath. Slow down your movement if you need to. Feel inside. Come inside of yourself. You see, Tai Chi is a practice that we want to actually come inside of our body and not try to get away. You know, people are trying to escape their bodies. They want to escape their bodies. We want to do the exact opposite. We want to come inside. We use the mind. The mind is guided through conscious thought. So we let the monkey mind go and we start using the breath. Now, once we get in touch with the breath, you know, breath is spirit. Yeah, breath is spirit. So now we're talking original life force energy. That's why we're here. 
That's why we're here. Once we're able to get in tune with our original life force energy, once we're able to get in contact with or build a stronger relationship with our original life force energy, we no longer have to wonder about what our life purpose is. There's no reason for that. Because you're in tune with the universe now. You, it'll fall in your lap, family. Your purpose will just fall in your lap. You will attract your tribe. You will attract your small circle of friends. Because you're simply in tune with nature the way that things were meant to be. How can you go wrong with that? There's nothing to think about at that point. It's just a matter of being in tune and then life is simply on autopilot. And we become co-creators of our own existence. Co-creators. Meaning that we're no longer considering ourselves as being the creation. No, 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 no. Nobody got time for that. That's coming from a position of weakness. I am, and you can repeat this after me if you wish, because it's super powerful. I am the creator. Go ahead, say it. I am the creator. Remember, you're talking to your I am. I am the creator and not the creation. Somebody got it twisted. Somebody got it twisted. Change it up, family. Here. Come across the top with the elbow. That's it. Did you hear it? I am the creator and not the creation. You see, Tai Chi is one of the art forms that takes us from being, I say, an ordinary person to being an artist, from being an artist to being a alchemist. Alchemist simply meaning we can turn lemons into lemonade. We can take a bad situation and turn it into a rainbow type situation. Just create beauty out of a complete mess. That's what it means to be an alchemist. From being an alchemist to being a true, a true person of magic that just creates magic out of everything. I'm talking about just creating the life of your dreams. That's being a true person of magic. Not trickery, but true magic. You know, the mystery, the mystery, the magic lives inside of each and every one of us. We just have to unlock it. We have to unlock it. Tai Chi is a self-realization, self-activation practice where we get in tune with our true self. There's no faking it. There's no faking it. When we fake it, we're going down the wrong path because our vibe, our true vibe, attracts our tribe. Our vibe attracts our tribe. Why would we want to attract anything that's not real? We're only asking for disaster. Soul group, small circle of friends, is much better than having a big circle of people that you're really not having anything in common with. You get where I'm going, fam? Self-realization, self-activation. This is rolling elbows. Yeah, I, I love to talk. I'm in one of those moves today. I figure we could do both. 
as I guide you through these practices. Rolling elbows. The philosophy is just as important as the movement. Can't have one without the other. It will be simply incomplete. How you feeling, family? Keep going. Let me check in with y'all. Keep going. I got caught up in the moment there and did not want to stop. Yeah. Belinda says, I am the creator, not the creation. Thank you very much. Belinda, you're not late, dear. You're right on time. Tai Chi is always on time. Never too early, never too late. There is no beginning. There is no ending. That's what I'm talking about, soul group. That's what I'm talking about. I am very successful. I am. You see how you connect your I am with only positive affirmation? Make that a daily habit. I am very successful. Tell yourself that. Remind yourself of that. You'll be surprised what it does to your body, what it does to your mind. Let's do some stepping, family. Let's do some stepping. I only have two stars here. Maybe I should add a third one, huh? I'll add a third one. How's everybody doing? Go ahead and check, check in with me while I'm setting up here. Check in with me, family. How's everybody doing? You like the flow today? We're taking it easy, enjoying ourselves, having fun. Anybody that's new, welcome to the chat. You may find it to be a little challenging, and that's part of the learning, that's part of the development. That's part of the reason that you're here. If you come here knowing everything already, you're simply in the wrong place, in the wrong space. None of us know everything. And we're all students for life, students of life. Hey, soul group, y'all have snuck in on me. I didn't have the chat here. I didn't know you guys were here. I knew some of you were here. Okay. Hey, Sister Pam, I see you. Good. Brother Sparky. Enjoying the pearls of wisdom and the simple truths you share. Thank you, Sister Audrey. Yeah, you know, I like, I, I like to talk. When I was growing up, you know, Mom always talking about, shh, be quiet, don't talk, shut up. Now I can talk as much as I like. At least I'm saying something that means something. You get me? <laughs> At least I'm saying something that's useful. Let's do this together. We're gonna go into our flow from uh, yesterday. Let's do that. Let's revisit that. The hands attaching and the raised hand stance. Beautiful flow. Let's go there. It's very little stepping, so you, you won't get so confused and, and you'll be able to figure it out. Because we go very slow here, fam. Very slow. Here you go. Twist. Now at this point right there, I want you to stop right there. Is your weight on one leg? Are you able to pick that leg up? This is just a check without your torso moving. If so, that means you're single weighted. If not, that means you're not single weighted yet. And we want to be single weighted. So, if you relax more into this leg, you can feel, feel, F-I-L-L. -L. You can feel, you can pour more weight into this leg. Similar to taking a pitcher of water and filling a cup or a glass. Imagine filling your body into one leg, pouring your weight or your mass into one leg. Now, once you feel that, I want you to check out your knees, please. Check out your knees, please. Your knee isn't straight, is it? Because we know that the knee should always be slightly bent, right? Okay, I just thought I'd check. I just thought I'd check. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's go. You said you checked it out. Take out your Tai Chi ball here and place it on the floor. Actually put it behind you here. Maintain your verticality here. Chin in, chest lightly tucked in. Maintain that. Now watch this left leg, how it just peels off the floor naturally. It allows me to step very lightly. Now the heel should touch the ground first, not the toe. Not the toe. Not when we're going forward. Not when we're stepping forward. The heel touches first when going forward. The toe touches first when we're going backwards. Remember that, okay? Okay, I trust you. Now pick up your Tai Chi ball. Bring it up the corner. This is the, what, right rear corner? So pick your Tai Chi ball up and draw a line up the right rear corner. Take it into the clouds energetically. Energetically extend with your mind. Imagine, visualize, extending into the clouds and feel, see if you feel anything. Feeling, keep feeling, turning. This is called hands attaching. So if you and I are playing a partner exercise, let's do that actually. So, yeah, stand in front of me. Bring your left hand and touch my wrist. Your foot, your front foot, I have one foot forward, one foot back. So your front foot, place it right here. Right here. Beside me. Your front foot. And then that will allow us to connect together at the wrist. The wrist, right here. This is sensitivity training. Also, we're working on spatial awareness and moving as one unit with your partner. Moving together. You see, as I begin to shift into my rear leg, you simply shift into your front leg. And we're moving together. Very similar to a dance. As I begin to shift forward, moving towards my front leg, you begin to shift into your rear leg. And we go back and forward. Let's do that a few times. Now notice that we aren't only going forward and backwards, but the body has to take a slight left and right shift as well. Right? Feel inside your body, fam. And pay attention to me. I'd like for you to use your hawk vision now. Your hawk vision. Where we have our eyes like, you know, our eyes are like this. Do your best to soften this out. Don't squint, but eyes are open but not open. You see, when you have the eyes like that and not so big, that helps set the meditative state. Even when we're doing our standing practice, get those eyes like this. That's gonna bring in your peripheral vision more. It's gonna bring in the whole peripheral vision, you see? And that way, when you're actually looking at me, you're not focused on one point, but you can see my whole being. Some people can see auras. I can see auras, right? You can look at the person's periphery right on the outside of the body. That's what you should be seeing. All around here, you should see this. Play with people sometime. When you're sitting down and they're not looking at you, just look at their whole periphery. Just start focusing on it. And your body subconsciously is taking these snapshots into the subconscious memory, paying attention to every little subtle detail of movement. It's a very good practice. Do it sometime. I do it with cats, dogs, people, everything. So let's go. Back it up again. I had to get that in there, fam. Shift, starting over. So now you're looking at my whole periphery, right? Everything. As my body moves inside of the space, you can see the space, but you can also see my body. All of this, family. Right on the outside. Very good practice. 
that's playing with the entire universe. These are the subtle things that most people don't pay attention to. But the subconscious mind is paying attention to it. But we're doing it with mindfulness. Now that we're here, hands are attaching. The tip of my nose and the tip of my finger, my middle finger, are on the same horizontal plane. I have space between my fingers and we want to shift forward and backwards. Forward and backwards, just floating, floating. Do a few more and we have to change sides. We have to change sides. You know, sometimes I get a little bit super excited and I want to give you all the details at once. I just want to give you all the details. The details are important. So is the movement itself. So let me not be so excited and focus on the movement and not so many details. Work with what I gave you, fam. The details that I gave you. Work with those. You see my body? I wish I could see yours. So you're following me, see? We follow. We follow. Make sure you hear me out on this. Follow with the intention of leading. We're all leaders. We don't need a leader. We don't need a leader. We follow with the intention of leading ourselves. We center ourselves. We are the center of the universe. Let's change doors. Watch my back foot. Very key word I just mentioned, change doors. Back foot is straightening, shifting back, stepping back, bringing in the Tai Chi ball, placing it back here, shifting, twisting, placing the Tai Chi ball on the floor. I know the time is starting to run away from us. Lifting up, out, into the clouds, bring it around, hands are attached at the wrists, and you're paying attention to the perimeter of my body. You're using hawk vision. You're following me forward and backwards. No resistance, no clashing into each other, moving harmoniously as one independent unit. You and I have become partners. You and I have become partners. So pay attention here. Let's see that we can flow together. You can see me, but I can't see you. So make sure that you are following with the intention of one day leading. We're gonna flow a couple times right into change doors. I can't see you, so make sure you're following. And we, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change now. Notice the movement's got a lot smaller, huh? Notice the movement's got a lot smaller. So we go from large to small. See, I'll go right into it now. Right into it. All right, follow me back. See how we keep changing? That's a nice flow. That's a nice flow. Change door, side to side. That's it. Right into it. Wrist to wrist. Couple more and we'll conclude for today. Working as a partner. Good stuff, huh? One breath. When we're moving together, that means we're breathing together. We're harmonized. We're harmonized. 
through breath and movement, family. Super powerful. When we get a bunch of us doing this stuff together, man, we can literally raise the vibration on the earth. That's the goal. That's the objective, to raise the vibration, to raise the frequency through our practice. This is meditation in motion. Look how we're flowing together. Whew. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. If you need to bow out, we'll see you tomorrow. We're almost, we're almost there, fam. We're almost there. Where is there? Nowhere. This flow is so nice, I just hate to give it up. Being selfish now, I guess. Is that being selfish? Is Sifu Lester being selfish because he loves the flow and don't want to give it up? Yeah, that's being selfish, Sifu. Okay. Okay. People have things to do today. Only you don't have a life, Sifu. People have a life. Here we go. We're out of here. We're out of here. Hands attaching, raise hand stance, change doors. All fundamental training, family. All fundamental to Temple Tai Chi. Inhale up. Hawk vision. Looking at the peripheral of our partners. Flowing together, no conflict, one unit. Oh man, so much going on. I love it. It's fun stuff. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you for the gifts, the tools. I had no idea what you were sharing with me, man. I had no idea what you were sharing with me. I mean, we literally at this point in time, we can make global impact, family. Global. You get what I'm saying? Global impact? You know how huge that is? Let's get out of here. Global impact. I'm not talking about talking to your neighbor or your neighborhood or community, city, county. Global, not even international. Global. I'm excited. The precursors are set. People are ready for the information. Let's continue to spread the Tai Chi across the globe. I'm excited today. Yes, I am. I am very successful. That's part of our daily thing to, to remind ourselves about. I'm not talking about me, but oh yes, I am. But you are too. These are confirmations that we add to ourselves every day. I am very successful. I am super powerful. Constant reminders. Heart to heart hugs, soul group. I know somebody enjoyed the flow. I know somebody enjoyed the flow because I was connected to you on that. I was connected with you. I enjoyed it as well. Heart to heart transmission. Meaning that we come together and we embrace each other. Embrace on the left side the heart side not on the right side this is the right side there's no heart there the heart resides here the majority anyway on the left side heart to heart oh yeah take a breath in now take a breath in breathe embrace and feel the heartbeat feel your heartbeat feel yours I feel mine one heartbeat, one breath. I love you all. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for supporting my uh, interview on yesterday. Thank you for supporting the interview on yesterday. Sister Megan Michael is a wonderful guide. She guided me perfectly through that interview. We flowed seamlessly like water. 
soul group. We flow like water. If you would, do not only her a favor, but do all of us a favor. Check out the interview on the YouTube. That way it helps the views go up as well. It helps her views go up. Helps her view time go up. All, all of these things. These are ways to help pay back, to help give back. To help support us, the community. And, and I'm, I'm going to keep reaching out and asking that you do that. Thank you very much. Yeah, check it out on the YouTube. Absolutely. Another wonderful Tai Chi movement. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything you want to drop in the chat, I've been doing my best to answer questions. I've been going through it every day. Yesterday was a lot. I got through the majority on yesterday, and I still have a few more that I need to go through. But it was quite a bit on yesterday. And trust me, I get, I get at least four or five um, personal messages every day. At least four or five personal messages every single day. And of course, I, I, uh, I entertain, I engage each and every one of those. Soul group. That's what we do. We support each other. That's the uplift part. That's, that's helping each other along the way. Yep, that's the part we cannot deny. Now, the perseverance, that's individual. Remember I talk about persevering? We talk about the four pillars, four pillars of success. Perseverance is personal. You have to do that on your own. We all have to do that on our own. See it through. We have to do that as individuals. Now, Soul Group is here to, to give you a hand and pull you up. There's no crabs in our organization. We don't pull people down in this organization. Successful organizations don't pull each other down. They're continuously looking for ways to help push up the other people, to raise the vibration, not lower the vibration. That's what success is about. Success of the group. All right, the tribe. That's the only way to thrive, you know. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the live stream as much as I did today as well was another good one. I'm going to plug into... I'm taking you off of my little thing here so I can plug you into this. I got a lot of work to do. I'm working on now... Um, I'm working on transferring these live streams onto YouTube. So I got a lot of work to do. That's the latest and greatest project. Transferring the live streams uh, from YouTube, I mean from Facebook to um, YouTube. That's the latest and greatest project. And it's new for me, so I'm learning as well. They'll still be available on Facebook, but I also want to have them in multiple places. Not just here on Facebook. If Facebook crashes, that means all of this work that we do together disappears. It makes no sense. I want this to be accessible forever. This is our legacy we're, we're doing here together. We're, we're, we're building a legacy. We're co-creating. We're co-creating. So anyway, fam, I'm going to get off of the chat and uh, start on the projects. And I had a request from a couple of people, actually the same request. People are wanting to um, learn some movement that they can do while seated. So that, that's going to require a uh, special video. Maybe I'll do a session with you also, group, but I'll just sit down on the chair and do the movement sitting the whole time. I've been considering that as well. I'll just do the whole... Uh, live stream sitting we'll see we'll see we'll see just a consideration I, I want to be creative and um, make it natural I don't like doing I don't like teaching and making those videos the, the the way that everybody's making these videos when they teach like tutorials to me that's that's pretty boring it's kinda lame 
I like the live sessions a lot more. This is the way to go. Now, when we can take the same information from the live stream because it's more interactive and save that as a video, I, I know people will like that more because it's more, more of my spirit is involved, more of my energy as opposed to just making a, a, a lame video. I don't know. I don't like making those videos. They're okay. I'm not going to say I don't like it. See, I have to watch what I attach my, my eye to. The eye is super powerful, family. Learn more about the eye. Eye. Not what they teach us in school, either. I'm out of here, fam. What does Sparky say? What did Brother Sparky say? I see uh, Sister Pam says, that's great. That's great news, Sparky. What are you talking about? Let me see. What's great news, Sparky? I'm being I'm being nosy here. This way you can simulcast to oh use B Live. I was wondering why you were using B Live, um Sister Megan. I was gonna ask you what was your purpose for using B Live. So with B Live, this way you can sign you cast to YouTube and to Facebook. They also save your live streams. Thank you. From this point forward, I'll start using that. But at the same time, I want to use my old live streams as well. See the Tai Chi is important for people with diabetes. Uh, why so? Why so, Pam? Sister Pam? Why, why do you say that? What is it about people with diabetes and seated meditation? Please school me on that. Why specifically for them? Please let me know. Be live. A new way for live streaming. I'm going to check that out. I know we used it yesterday for your for your thing. A new way. Okay, I have to start using that. How to set it up and everything. And start doing simultaneous. Um, that's wonderful. Thank you, Sister Megan. I, I, I may be reaching out for you to get more details. I like to hear it more than read it. I like to hear it. Hear it from you. School me on that. Oh, come on. School me, uh, Sister Pam, on that, um, on that reason as far as diabetics and sitting. Oh, okay. Disabilities. Gotcha. I was wondering when you said uh, diabetes. Oh, you did say disabilities. That's me. I, I'm just not reading very well. I'm filling in different words from what you actually said. You said disabilities. I got you. You're right. Okay, I'll check them out. I've heard about that, Simucast. I'm going to check it out. Thank you very much. This is what I'm talking about, Soul Group. This is it. That'll make things a lot simpler. Okay, fam, I'm going to check out, get me some grub going, go out and get a little sunshine. And I'm, like I said, I got some work to do getting these uh, videos transferred. Yeah, Sister Pam, I see what you're saying. You said disabilities. Not, I said diabetes. I did that. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from. Yeah, I know we did it yesterday. And I, was, I was wondering your reason for that and how it, how it works. I would like to get some uh, explanation from you, Sister Megan. All right. Talk to you all soon. Um, I would possibly like to start using that thing, uh, that program tomorrow, the Be Live. Jump right into it tomorrow, if possible. Start simulcasting. I'm learning all this new terminology now. I feel I feel techy. Simulcast. Thank you, Sister Pan. I get what you're saying. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of people asking about sitting down and following. So. We'll see how we do, how we work on that. Talk to you soon.
Peace. Love you all.